Blythe here from Cut the Fat Podcast. Just putting the finishing touches on my uh, very, very simple and very, very tasty raw cookie dough recipe. Um, so all you need is a 15 ounce can of garbanzo beans. And let me show you what I use. I actually will be posting a picture of what I used uh, below this, but let me show you what I used. I've just got a can of garbanzo beans. You must rinse them. Hi, Anna Maria. Hi, Brian. Um, so I've just got a can of garbanzo beans, put them in the strainer, rinse them. Once you rinse the garbanzo beans, and this is the most important and maybe most difficult part of this recipe because it's very, very simple. Um, you must roll out the garbanzo beans, dry them off on a paper towel or a pastry cloth if you've got one. And, uh, peel the holes off the garbanzo beans. So all you have to do is rub it between two towels, pick up the garbanzo beans, and the ones that are really shiny have the holes off, and they're very, very simple just to pluck off. Um, so I did that, I put them in my Ninja, and I added a tablespoon and a half of maple syrup, a half cup of cashew butter, um, what else did I add? Oh, a tablespoon and a half of water, simple, and I did um, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I just used the regular pure vanilla extract, if you guys can see that. So I've got um, vanilla extract, pure maple syrup, cashew butter, and I posted a picture, or I will post a picture underneath this video of all of the ingredients that you need. Very, very simple, and then water included. If you have a food processor, uh, I don't have a food processor, but I have my Ninja that I absolutely love because it does a great job at um, blending things up. Basically, my cookie dough is done. I just put every single ingredient in, and because the Ninja is so noisy, I blended it right as I went into this video, so you guys don't have to listen to that irritating sound. Um, I'm just gonna spoon out the cookie dough, and I've got my quarter cup of chocolate chips over here. I went and bought dark chocolate chips today because I tried this recipe last time with semi-sweet and it wasn't as great. So I'm trying dark cho chocolate chips because I really love dark chocolate. And I'm just gonna stir those in. All right, we got most of the cookie dough out of there. I'm just placing it in a bowl. You guys can see it looks just like cookie dough. Uh, once you put everything in the blender, if it's too thick, you can always just add a little more water as needed. I'm just gonna grab a fork. Make sure the consistency is sa the same all the way through. The great thing about garbanzo beans is that they pick up the flavor of whatever you're, you're mixing it with. So in this case, um, it's gonna be the maple syrup and the cashew butter, which makes it nice and thick and doughy. And let me just show you. This is a nice thick, it's just, it's just like if you were baking cookies, how you, the consistency you would want your dough. And I'm gonna take my little my little quarter cup of dark chocolate chips here and just pour those in. This is definitely a healthier alternative to eating raw cookie dough. Uh, it's summertime here in Denver, Colorado, where I live. And, you know, sometimes in the evenings you're just looking for like a cool treat because you don't want to, you don't want to turn on the oven and, and make the house hot. So just mix those in really well. And if you guys can see, yummy cookie dough. And I'm telling you guys, this, it doesn't taste like garbanzo beans. So if you say, oh, I don't like garbanzo beans, I still encourage you to try this recipe. It's really good. Have a couple of tablespoons of that after dinner, and that will satiate your sweet cravings. And it's not absolutely terrible. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Hope you enjoyed the live video. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I will be posting pictures of the ingredients below. Um, and just the simple, Throw everything in a food processor, or like I said, I like to use my Ninja, and mix everything together, and then stir. Super easy. Hope you guys all are having a fantastic June. I know we're uh, rolling up to the end of June here, but just so you guys know, in July, Dr. Ray and I are starting another 60-day challenge. If you're interested in getting on the mailing list to find out when that challenge starts, uh, it will be in July. We haven't posted the date yet, but it will be in July, and if you want to be on the mailing list, just go to cutthefatpodcast.com, and up in the upper right corner of that homepage will be Coaching Club. Just click on that, enter your email address, and we will shoot out an email right before the next challenge starts. And if it's not too crowded, hopefully you can get in. Everybody have a great day.